Sorry I'm late, Matt. Sorry about that. Hey, I no problem. A little bit busy out there. What you doing? It's just I just posted a new picture on Instagram. Oh. Check how many likes it got. Wow. Yeah. I've never seen a number that big. That's amazing. Pretty impressive. Huh? You have a lot of friends and followers, apparently. Yeah. How well, do you how do you do it? I, I post stuff and <coughs> my mom ignores it. Your Well, your mom's following me. Oh no. man. <laughs> Well, maybe you're not doing it right. Let's check out your profile. Let's okay. see what you got here. All right, yeah, that, yeah, that's the that one. one. That's the one. Yeah, let's see that photo. Uh -huh. <coughs> it's all right. I mean, I just took it. I thought it was okay. A friend snapped it with their camera. We were, you know, at the you, beach. You know what you gotta do. What have I gotta do? You've gotta edit your photos. You gotta use the right filter. Filter? Huh? Right, filter. Then filter. you can use this app to make your eyes look bigger. So <coughs> Big eyes. Look Look more handsome, even okay. more handsome. Wow, so I yeah. want to look like a Japanese cartoon That's character. That's right, you can make your face, you know, the right shape. Okay. And can then... I, can I give myself some cool tattoos that I don't really have? I think you could, yeah, you can put on okay. some cool tattoos, make the muscles a little bigger. I don't have to go to the gym. I can just do it on the phone. That's right. That who sounds needs, pretty good, dude. Who needs the gym anymore? I guess so. So, you wow. do that and you'll have... You'll have Thousands of followers in no time. Okay, well that looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to learn a lot, and right now I'm feeling a lot of envy about you know your profile and all the friends you have. But I guess I'll follow that advice, and then I'll be a happier person. All right, you get to work. All right, I guess we will have to check out our article. I'll go do that. You guys do this, and then we'll be back to talk about it. You are looking through your social media feed and trying to catch up on your friends' lives, but every picture you see makes you feel terrible. Each exciting vacation photo, cute selfie, or proud post about a new accomplishment causes your brain to cry out, why not me? Does this sound familiar? If so, you probably have a major case of social media envy. All right, we are back. Now, I don't have any new followers, I'm sad to say, but my mom did like my photo. Well, that's that's one like. the first thing she's liked of mine in many years, so I guess that's a small victory. But let's look at our article, and we'll talk about that for today, actually, and tomorrow. The title of the article is Social Media Envy, What It Is and How to Stop It. And this is part one. I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. Yeah, so we're going to talk about social media envy. This is something I think most of you have heard about, maybe you have even experienced yourself. But yeah. before we get into it, we do have this word envy, right? That's right. So envy is actually our first vocabulary mm. word right there in the title. And envy means a desire or longing for something that makes you not feel good. And it's a mm. noun. Many people would also compare this to the word jealousy. Mm -hmm. One thing that's different between envy and jealousy is usually if you envy someone or something, mm -hmm. you, if you envy someone, you want to be like that person mm -hmm. and you don't have any bad feelings about that person. Whereas you have jealousy, maybe you have some anger about it, you don't mm. feel good about it. Yeah, I've also heard people say that you envy someone for who they are but you're jealous of what they have, oh, you know? Okay, so yeah, you might envy yeah. your friend, like you said, because they're amazing at basketball, mm -hmm. but you would be jealous because they got the latest Air Jordan shoes, and you're like, oh, yes. I want those. And so you have some jealousy. Yeah, but they're both kind of unhappy feelings, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are not good yeah. feelings. So our example sentence says, everyone watched with envy mm -hmm. as the movie star got out of his sports car. He's so handsome, he's so rich, what a yeah. nice car, what a great life he must have. I feel so unhappy happy about myself. And that's the problem with envy and jealousy. It can lead to us feeling unhappy about ourselves because someone else seems to be happier than us. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's not always true. So let's get into the article and find out how social media can make this whole feeling kind of worse. It says you're looking through your social media feed and trying to catch up on your friends' lives. Okay, that's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Maybe on a Sunday night, right, Monday morning, people often do that, see what their friends were doing, 
during the weekend. So you're catching up. You're kind of getting the latest news on what your friends have been yeah. doing. But as the sentence, sorry, go on. Yeah, that's how I find because I live here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I often keep up with my friends' lives through right. watching their social media. So yeah. things like Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. posts, I can find out if my friends. You know, even had a, had a baby or got married wow. or some friends even from high school. Sure. It's a great way to kind of stay up and catch up and know what's going on with your friends' lives. But as the, as the sentence continues, it says, but every picture you see makes you feel terrible. Ooh, yeah, maybe you spent yeah. the weekend at home, uh, you know, binge watching TV and <laughs> eating junk food. And then you see, oh, my friends are at the beach. Oh, they were hanging out with supermodels and movie stars. Oh, they're on a holiday. Wow. On a, taking a helicopter ride. Your, and, your friends sound pretty yeah, impressive. So suddenly <laughs> you feel models. like your great lazy weekend is just not good. Okay, so the article continues. Mm. Each exciting vacation photo, cute selfie, or proud post about a new accomplishment wow. causes your brain to cry out, why not me? Does this sound familiar? If so, you probably have a major case of social media envy. Mm, absolutely. So if something sounds familiar, we're kind of saying you've heard this before, or maybe you felt this before, because here we're talking about emotions. But it's something you've experienced before. That's what familiar is. We use this adjective to talk about things that are not strange, or not new, or not surprising. They're usual. They're common. We've seen them before. We've done them before. We've experienced experienced them before. It's not strange or new. It's something you've definitely done or seen or had around you before. For example, Greg saw many familiar faces at the party. So these might be old friends, people he works with, people he's met in the past. These are not a bunch of strangers. So these are familiar people. People he already knows. So I think for yeah. me at least this feeling that they're describing mm. is something that is familiar to me, mm -hmm. especially when the weather's bad outside. Mm, and, you just felt lazy. Yeah. yeah. And so I hope uh, we can learn more about how to stop feeling this envy. That's right. We're going to get some good tips about controlling your social, en social media envy coming up right after this break. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的课程是关于社交媒体妒忌。那么 social media envy 这个标题的单字 envy 就表示妒忌、羡慕。那它的形容词 envious 就是妒忌的、羡慕的。那老师还有提到这个 jealousy, J E A L O U S Y， 这则是嫉妒的意思，它是名词。它的形容词就是 jealous, jealous 就是嫉妒的、吃醋的。我们来补充一下 envy。跟 jealous 的差异。好 ，envious 常常它用来描述这个羡慕的感觉，希望去拥有别人有的好东西或是特质，那这不一定带有敌意。那么 jealous 则是常常用来描述那种嫉妒啊、吃醋的感觉，因为别人拥有你想要的东西而你感到愤怒，或是害怕自己拥有东西被抢走，所以带有敌意。所以这是稍微有一点差别的。老师在讲解单字时还提到 longing， 就是 l o n g i n。Longing 这个名词就表示渴望的意思。好，课文提到说，当我们看到社交媒体上朋友的最新动态，像是可能度假的照片啊、可爱的自拍，或是一些关于新成就解锁的自豪贴文时，都会让我们的大脑大喊着：“为什么不是我？为什么我整天在家追剧、吃垃圾食物，然后别人的生活那么多彩多姿呢？”那如果这样的情境听起来很熟悉，你很有可能就是有社交媒体妒忌的这种主要症状哦。好，单字 familiar， 它是形容熟悉的。熟知的 ，Mike 老师则用到 binge watch，b i n g e 连字号再加上 watch 这个动词就表示没有节制的看，狂看。那其中这个 binge 它具有放纵、没有节制的意思，我们就常用 binge watch 去表达那种追剧、刷剧的行为。好，接回到课文中。Envy is a painful emotion, but it's also natural. We often compare ourselves with others, and that isn't always a bad thing. Seeing something we wish we had can encourage us to improve our lives. Then, when we succeed, we have a healthy desire to show off our success. The problem is that most people on social media tend to show off all the time. When you see someone's perfect post, you might go to their profile page to see more. 
There, you'll likely notice that their whole life seems perfect compared to yours. You think you could never compete, and the thought is enough to drive you to despair. Is there any way to stop this feeling? All right, so we already know that social media envy is not a good thing to feel, but it is a thing many of us do feel. So what can we do about it? Well, let's find out as we continue to read the article. <laughs> envy is a painful emotion, but it's also natural. It's true. We often compare ourselves with others, and that isn't always a bad thing. Seeing something we wish we had can encourage us to improve our lives. I guess that's true. Yeah. You can use your envy as motivation to kind of push you to work harder. I'm gonna be like that person I'm kind of jealous of, but that'll just make me work harder so I can reach their right. level. You see your friends post doing something that you want to do. Mm -hmm. You find out how you can do the same thing by maybe working harder or. You know, spending your money on things that will make you happier. That can happen, absolutely. Then, as it says, when we succeed, we have a healthy desire to show off our success. So yeah, for your friends are successful, do something cool or interesting, they show it off, and then you feel like, I can do that, and you do it, and you show off your own success. That's fine to do. The problem is that most people on social media tend to show off all the time. That's an interesting point. You well, have some friends who are always telling you about the amazing things they're doing, and other friends who don't, but maybe it's just because the other friends aren't posting about it all the time. Well, but you're also, I mean, I wouldn't post about like the bad times. I'm not gonna be like, oh, going mm -hmm. to work again today. True. Not, I feel like, it fell not, down and got covered in mud. Yeah, it's like yeah. bored on the MRT. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not going to post that stuff. So you want to post the stuff that you think other people will be interested in. So in there we had another vocabulary word, which is a noun, and it's desire. So a desire is something you want is a desire. Something you want or you, you really want to have in, in your life or for you is a desire. In this example sentence says, Claire has no desire to get married. Mm. So that means that she does not want to get married. Mm. So if you don't have a desire for something, it means you don't want it. Yeah, it's true. Desire is kind of like want, but we often use desire when it's something we want to do, right? Not necessarily I desire a new pair of shoes, but I desire to go to Europe and spend a month looking at the museums or something. We often use it for verbs or activities or actions we really want. And we also have this word, tend. When you tend to do something, it's a verb. That's what you usually do, more than 50% of the time. Maybe not all the time, but generally this is a common thing you do a lot, quite frequently, certainly not something that you almost never do. No, if you tend to do it, that's what you usually do in most situations. For example, I tend to stay up late on weekends even though it's bad for my health. Maybe if I'm tired or I don't feel well, I'll go to sleep early, but usually on the weekend you'll find me up late at night. That's right, so something you tend to do, something you normally do. Usually do, yeah. Okay, so the article continues. When you see someone's perfect post, you might go to their profile page to see more. Oh, true. There, you'll likely notice that their whole life seems perfect compared to yours. Mm, yeah, there are those people and you're kind of like, they do amazing things every weekend, their hair always looks good, they're always hanging out with cool, interesting, good-looking people. How do they do it? Back to the article, it says, you think you could never compete. My friends are way too ugly, or something like that. So you think you could never compete compete, and the thought is enough to drive you to despair. In other words, thinking about that, seeing those pictures, drives you to despair or basically makes you really sad and really unhappy. So here's the question, is there any way to stop this feeling? Can you control this envy that you might get when you are looking at social media? Because yeah, when we compete with other people, well, sometimes that can be great, it can be fun, it can be good for us. 
but other times it can make us unhappy. To compete is basically to play That's or to good, fight yeah. against someone. Not necessarily like fighting because you're angry or fighting in a war. We often use this word actually for sports. When you're mm -hmm. playing sports against someone, you're competing against that person. You don't hate them. You're not trying to kill them or hurt them. But, but you, you, you want to show that you, you're better than that's them. That's true. You definitely so. want to win. You're not just like, yeah, let's play. No, yeah. you're trying to win. Indeed. You're trying to stop them from winning. You're really giving it all your energy to do the best that you can. And we use it for sports. We could also, of course, use it for tests or competitions, things like that. For example, watching baseball on TV can't compete with attending a game in person. Here we're kind of comparing things mm -hmm. and we're saying one thing is so much better than the other. Seeing your family and friends in real life just can't compete, or sorry, seeing your friends on a Zoom call just can't yes. compete to seeing them in real life. Generally, you put the thing that's not as good before we compare it That's or we right. compete I mean, you, with the good thing. Think about it in the way that, um, in terms of competition, like a mm -hmm. high school basketball team mm -hmm. can't compete with an NBA team. Well, they, they could, but they'd lose every game. Well, I mean, they, they, in this <laughs> usage, they can't compete. Yes, you're right. They're not even close. The not difference is close. so great that they're not even in the same league. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. And it's true. Sometimes you just can't compete with all the really fabulous, cool people on social media. So don't drive yourself to despair by trying. Thanks for joining us, guys. That's all the time we have. But we'll have more about this interesting and actually very important topic in tomorrow's article. So come back and join us for that. Until then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.常常拿自己跟别人做比较某人非常棒的贴文时你可能会去他的个人资料页面去看更多的贴文然后结果就发现这个人生活似乎很棒很酷很完美我们好像永远没办法跟他相比那这个想法就足以把我们逼到绝望了 这表示个人档案或是人物简介，还有despair这个名词是绝望。当我们说drive somebody to despair，就是把某人逼入绝望境地。好，再来看到单字compete。它是指竞争、参与竞赛。当我们用 could never compete 或是 can't compete 就可以表达无法相比的意思。那这边三个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 compare A with B 或者是 compare A to B 表示将 A 跟 B 进行比较。动词 compare 它就是指比较或者是对比。举例来说, Gina's parents used to compare her with her older sister all the time. Gina的爸妈以前老是拿她跟姐姐做比较。那补充一个用法就是, compared to 或者是 compared with 点点点, 这是表达说跟什么来相比, 相较于什么什么。那这样的用法呢,是独立分词片语, 可以把它摆在句首, 或者是接在主要子句的后面。例如, Henry is quiet compared to his siblings. 跟兄弟姐妹比起来, Henry 很安静。好,那第二个重点是, wish当动词呢, 可以表达希望,但愿。那么后方子句常用假设法。我们来看看哦,如果是表达跟现在事实相反, 或者是不太可能实现的愿望, 这时候常见的用法就是, 主词wish that, 主词加上过去式动词或者是用were 注意这边的were就是不管你的人称是什么,be动词一律用were 举例来说, I wish I were a billionaire 我真希望我是个亿万富翁 再看一个例句是, Dana wishes she had more free time Dana希望有更多的空闲时间 那么事实就是她现在没有这样的空闲时间 她但愿希望有这样的空闲时间 好,在我们看到表达跟过去事实相反的愿望时后方的子句我们会用过去完成式 那这时候用法就是主词wish that 
主词加上过去完成式 had 加上 pp。举例来说 ，I wish I hadn't told her the secret。我真希望当时没有把秘密告诉她，可惜已经讲了。好，再看到下一个重点是连缀动词 seem， 它表示似乎、好像、看起来。那么常见的句型是主词加上 seem to be 加上形容词或名词，其中的 to be 可以省略。那你也可以用主词 seem to 加上原形动词。例如 ，Kate seems to be sad。你也可以说 Kate seems sad。Kate 好像很难过哎。或者是造个例句，像 No one seems to know the answer。似乎没有人知道答案哎。好，那以上是今天讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。You are looking through your social media feed and trying to catch up on your friends' lives, but every picture you see makes you feel terrible. Each exciting vacation photo, cute selfie, or proud post about a new accomplishment causes your brain to cry out, "Why not me?" Does this sound familiar? If so, you probably have a major case of social media envy. Envy is a painful emotion, but it's also natural. We often compare ourselves with others, and that isn't always a bad thing. Seeing something we wish we had can encourage us to improve our lives. Then, when we succeed, we have a healthy desire to show off our success. The problem is that most people on social media tend to show off all the time. When you see someone's perfect post, you might go to their profile page to see more. There, you'll likely notice that their whole life seems perfect compared to yours. You think you could never compete, and the thought is enough to drive you to despair. Is there any way to stop this feeling? Hello, I'm Toy. I'm Steven. And today we're playing Guess the Bear. And so we each have three cards, and I will read two sentences and replace the word that he has to guess with the word bear.、Mm. We have a minute each to guess all three cards.、Mm. You want to go first? Okay. First guessing, or I'll guess first. Okay. okay. Awesome.、Uh, one minute. Okay. Go. Noun. One word. Anna has no bear to get married. They express a strong bear to win for their team. Desire. Yes, very good. Verb. One word. I bear to wear bright colored clo clothing. The summer bears to be our brightest, our busiest time. Okay, okay. One more time. Both. I bear to wear bright colored clothing. The summer bears to be our busiest time. Ten. Very good. Okay, last one. Phrase.、Oh. Two words. It might be a little hard. You can't bear apples, bear oranges. I bared my old car, bared the newest model. It's two things. Uh huh. So it, compare to. Yes, you can't compare apples to oranges. That's、And、a very common phrase we have. What was the second <laughs> sentence again? I bear. I compared my old car to the newest model. Ah, <sighs> you、I、did good. Like, you got all three.、Like The producers have been nice to me. They've been giving me the easy ones because I think one of yours is pretty hard. Okay, are you、oh, ready?、Gosh. Are you ready? I I have to be. You have to be. All right, go. This is a noun, one word. Number one, he looked at his brother's riches with bear. Number two, we watched with bear as she won the contest. Jealousy, anger,、um, happiness. <laughs> he looked at his brother's riches with bear. Envy. There you go. Yes. My acting helped, right? Okay, this is、yes. an adjective. One word. Number one, she looks very bare, but I don't know why. Number two, I'm not very bare with this part of town. Familiar. There you go. Okay, I was、All、gonna、right. say shy. Here comes the three word phrase.、Oh. Right, number one, <laughs> the restaurant is empty and bears bear bear closed. Number two, she didn't bear 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 interested in what he was selling. Didn't seem very interested. Close. Um, say the last the one.、Uh, she didn't bear, bear, bear interested in what he was selling. The, the restaurant is empty and bears, bear, bear closed. Seems to be. Oh my god! Was that that counts. That counts. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was like、gosh. that was like a movie, like the last second, like you I, get it. It was I, like、oh、my on、god. the buzzer. Oh, that was. I think that's、so、the first、cool. time I've gotten one of the three-word phrases. I've never, I never get those because. There's so many possibilities. Yeah, yeah I, I can't even. Oh my gosh! Yes, I got it. Yes. 
See you next time.